Ow, 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 Bramble, ow! Ah, I've scratched the... Ah, Brambles, look at, look at the size of this bag. Look at it, look, look. That's how much stuff I have to carry. This is huge, I mean, ah. Oh, uh, quick shout out to Ruth though for uh, lending me the bag and to your son Jacob for uh, giving me permission to use it. Thanks Jacob and uh, Running Rat approves. Yeah, so I, yes, signed up for the, oh, that was disgusting, for the more than two day mountain marathon where you camp in the middle. I've signed up to run it with an elite runner and oh, this was such a bad idea. I haven't even trained properly, I've been so busy. Such a bad idea. Ow! Freaking fed up with. This is gonna be tough. What is that? It's a. Ah, it's a slug. Oh, it's on my finger. Oh. Don't it's still there. Don't. today. <laughs> I'm Race Nutrition. This is the mountain. Gonna go register. Starting at 944. Oh, the dibber dabber. Five minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. It's not very dramatic at the start here. <laughs> no, this is the least dramatic one. You're going the wrong way. What? <laughs> well, we've got the coordinates. I don't know what's happening, but she seems to. Okay. 12 control points, 16 miles. Let's go. This is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt me, it's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Control point one. Shane's competitive streak has kicked. <laughs> it's gonna be die already. Six minutes of running. Go this way, he says. We'll pick up the path in no time, he says. Ah, uh, Stefania! Simba, for as far as you're right, and Simba. Uh, Can we go back to what it was before? Like a bad thing, never came to us. Checkpoint three. Throws the camera at me. He makes me guide him around the mountains. Throws cameras at me. Number four. I do here. It's Harris Castle. I'm gonna head straight over that way there. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. So that's nearly down, checkpoint five. And then from there, up to the top of Ben Crumb. Dibbed. Dibbed. Look at this! These take seven years to decompose. 
Stop throwing banana skins in the barns! Not gonna lie, this is really tough. I think in hindsight, I probably should have entered for the C class. <laughs> I just want to go and lie down in the heather and go to sleep. But uh, I did find some bilberries. Oh, oh that's so good. Checkpoint six. We don't have first party with you. I'm just after slipping on the way down there and I just reached out to stop myself and grab this and was just flailing it around. There we go, that's checkpoint seven. I just got a really bad cramp in my calf. I slipped going down just over there and the whole leg just <coughs> spasmed up. <sighs> Number eight done. which has one of the highest beaches in Northern Ireland. We didn't go past it, but there's actually a nice sandy beach. So you can come up, bring your picnic, bucket and spade, camp out in the beach, up in the mornings. Oh, look at this. Classic leprechaun toboggan damage. I think I'm getting delirious. You know you're starting to get tired when you both start discussing the the sub narratives within Toy Story 4. What did you think about Toy Story 4? Let me know in the comments. Did you like it? Did you think it was good? Did you get the deep and quite dark, frankly, hidden messages within that movie? Who's your, <laughs> Who's your favorite to character in Toy Story? Yeah. I think I like Mr. Potato Head. Or, uh, or Rex. Yeah, Rex is pretty, Rex is pretty funny. He's just got that, that blind optimism that Blind optimism and joy that we all need sometimes. I'd say Rex would do well here. Rex? If he fell over his arm, he <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got good, good solid thighs. You know, T-Rex would be able to probably be quite a good climber, but just not good on the descents because he'd fall on his face. <laughs> Nine down. Do you want a bilberry? Granny has gooseberries in the garden, they're lovely. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't have any gooseberries. Simon Hodge. He is to blame for me picking B class and not an easier so class. Nice. I tried to call you a nice day out in the mountains. <laughs> Number 10, uh, in the pan. Mostly been drinking straight from rivers all day, but uh, that one looked a little bit gross. Really didn't fancy a bite of explosive diarrhea in the tent tonight, so got the, got the water filled right. All right. No diarrhea for me. Ah, uh, we're on the last ascent and something really weird is happening in my legs. Like literally, every single time I take a step, there's like shock waves shooting up my quads. It's like, it feels like the muscle internally every time is like trying to twist it in itself. I may be lying on the ground screaming in agony and cramps in about five minutes. How you doing? Number 11, the final checkpoint and then... Bye.
Oh, we're nowhere near. It says in the instructions to follow. Yeah. They won. Yeah, that was worse than running a marathon. And I've got to do it all again tomorrow. But where are my shoes were. I'm having couscous with some frozen peas and sweet corn, cheap uh, pepperoni stuff, and some string cheese. So I'm going to try this summit beef stew with potato, courtesy of Outdoor Adventure Balmina. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed. This looks like a real stew. You look pleasantly surprised. Well done. I am pleasantly surprised. That's really nice. <laughs> We never thought this day would come, but I think Stephen is lost for words. He's got to the point where he's pretty exhausted. It's quite funny. There's a very large number of people around here walking around with plastic bags on their feet trying to keep their, their socks for tomorrow dry. First day's done. That was brutal. I could not have tried any harder, I was pushing the entire time. Euphoric moments when you got to the top and you're just like, oh look at those views, or, 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 or you got like a really good descent where you could pick up speed, combined with just soul crushing climbs. But, yeah. System shock, I think would be the right phrase. <laughs> uh, Looking forward to tomorrow. I think actually the weather forecast is to be terrible tomorrow. So that's. Uh, yeah, I need sleep. <laughs> anymore. The most difficult thing I have ever done in my life. I hate him so much right now. Hey buddy. Well. Um, yeah. Good morning everyone. I think we've broke Stephen. What he said. Shane got a tick yesterday, in fact I got a tick as well. Although Shane got his tick in a... <laughs> uh, I'm not telling you where Shane got his tick, but put it this way, you don't want a tick there.